Five nights before SummerSlam, Monday Night Raw rolls through the gateway to the west. We are here at the Enterprise Center in St. Louis, Missouri, as we approach the biggest party of the summer, the number one contender for the WWE Championship, and one half of the World Tag Team Champions are on a collision course in tonight's main event. Damian Priest, one of the gentlemen who certainly played a factor in Sami Zayn losing his Intercontinental Championship to Dominic Mysterio. Kevin Owens, days before he meets CM Punk for the gold, is out for revenge. It is Owens, Priest, one-on-one -on -one here in St. Louis. And speaking of the Intercontinental Gold, the stakes could be any higher as we kick things off tonight with that very championship on the line. Jay Uso out for a measure of revenge and out to walk away with a piece of singles hardware. And all of this just five nights before our trip to Detroit, Michigan, Ford Field where the fight of the summer will commence. It is the eight-man tag team warfare. The bloodline stand in arms as they go 4v4 against the Judgment Day, as well as Seth freaking Rollins. Later tonight here on Raw, we are gonna take a closer look at this rivalry that has progressed throughout 2024. But if the last few weeks have told us anything, is that when the bell rings at SummerSlam, all hell is gonna break loose. But tonight, Jey Uso, with an opportunity to get a measure of revenge before SummerSlam begins, and walk away as the new Intercontinental Champion. Certainly a task easier said than done when you're in there with the likes of the Judgment Day. Come one, come all, because they never come alone. Dominic Mysterio accompanied by the Prince Finn Balor ahead of this championship defense. And this is not the only time that the Judgment Day and the Usos have crossed paths over the last 48 hours. We take you back to WWE Live for channel members this past Saturday. The Usos, victorious over the Creed Brothers, celebration short-lived, thanks to the arrival of Damian Priest and Finn Balor, who just got the edge over Jay and Jimmy this past Saturday night. Well, I'll tell you, sneak attacks, ambushes, brawls, they have been the center fold between the Judgment Day, Seth Rollins, and the Bloodline for months on end here on Monday Night Raw. But something's gotta give. It's gotta come to an end eventually. And when that bell rings this Saturday night in Detroit, all hell is gonna break loose and only one unit is gonna be left standing. But before we get to SummerSlam, the biggest party of the summer, possibly the most anticipated SummerSlam of all time. There is action to be had right here tonight in the Lou. In the middle of the Enterprise Center, Dominic Mysterio defends his Intercontinental Championship for the very first time since defeating Sami Zayn last month in London. Will main event Jey Uso be the man to take away that championship gold? Introducing the challenger from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event Jey Uso. You know, I don't believe it would be in incorrect to say that the only reason Dominic Mysterio is Intercontinental Champion today is because of Finn Balor, Damian Priest, and Rhea Ripley's involvement in his matchup with Sami Zayn last month. 
Kevin Owens out for a measure of revenge on behalf of Sami Zayn, who was also defeated by Damian Priest a few weeks ago. They are going to lock horns in your main event. But Dominic Mysterio, the champion nonetheless. And he is finding out firsthand that when, there, when you are a champion, there is a target on your back. But champion or not, there was going to be a target on Dominic Mysterio's head coming from Jey Uso specifically after the events of a few months ago. Of course, the story between these two units well documented, but it was Dominic Mysterio who took Jey Uso's eye off the ball back at Vengeance in May, allowing Damian Priest to come from behind, roll up Jey Uso, and steal the World Tag Team Championships away from Jey and Jimmy on that night. Of course, just a few weeks later, Jay and Dominic Mysterio were set to meet in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. Twas not to be, as wait a minute, hold that thought, Dominic Mysterio, who has come hot out of the gate, trying to get the victory early, not just yet. That King of the Ring first round matchup never happening, thanks to the attack from Dirty Dominic Mysterio in the parking garage on Jay Uso that put Jay on the shelf for several months. Nonetheless, Jay Uso back in action. The Usos successful in their tag team return this past Saturday night at WWE Live. Now Jey Uso looks for a little bit of solo revenge ahead of that eight-man tag team matchup. What bigger and more sweet revenge is possibly out there than taking down Dominic Mysterio and taking away his Intercontinental Championship in the process. Certainly high stakes, high reward in your opening matchup tonight on Raw. Dominic Mysterio coming hot out of the gate, as you saw, trying to get the early advantage over Jey Uso. Dominic, oh man, sent to the outside with one mean shot. Dominic better be ready for a fight. I don't think we're here for collar and elbow tie-ups and wrist locks from Jey Uso. Main event Jey Uso flying through the skies of St. Louis, Missouri, out to get his pound of flesh over Dirty Dom. Dominic Mysterio has had this coming. Whether the championship was going to be on the line or not, but as we mentioned, that intercontinental gold at stake tonight, just making the stakes that much sweeter. Still to come tonight on Raw, there is an issue to be settled between the man, Becky Lynch, alongside Bailey as they go 2v2 against Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. Developing story over the last few months on Raw that certainly the ante was up this past Saturday at WWE Live. We'll take a closer look at that later tonight. So much action to come here on Monday Night Raw, the final Monday Night Raw, before the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time this Saturday night. Back inside the ring, I believe referee John Cone is fixing up a exposed turnbuckle, thanks to the Prince Finn Balor. Wait a minute, back into the pinfall here. Jey Uso trying to catch Dirty Dom. Dom off the sunset flip. Jay reversing it now. John Cohn going back and forth, trying to see if we get a count of three. Oh, man, what a sequence of events. Dominic Mysterio bringing Finn Balor out here tonight to try to even the score in a sense. Obviously, knowing Jay, or I should say Jimmy, would be in the corner of Jay. And on the reverse side, the Usos, even in the numbers against the Judgment Day, who usually always have them in their favor. Of course, Damian Priest with his own issues with Kevin Owens to settle in the main event later tonight. Rhea Ripley, I'm sure somewhere in the arena preparing for her matchup with Bianca Belair with the WWE Women's Championship on the line this Saturday at SummerSlam. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor, watching the back of the Intercontinental Champion, Dominic Mysterio. And I am sure, just as always, the Judgment Day have flown into St. Louis tonight with a game plan. Luckily for Jay, he's got Jimmy to be his second pair of eyes at ringside. But at the end of the day, it's what happens between the ropes. And you can never count the Judgment Day out. Tell you what, Dirty Dom, worse for wear. And, oh, well, wait a minute. This is exactly what we're talking about. Finn Balor, as you can see, exposing that corner once again and is now at ringside right off the side of your screen, taking Jay Uso's eye off the ball. Well, Jay luckily able to make the smart decision, shake off the cobwebs, sending Dom to the outside. Jay Uso once again taking things to the air. Main event Jay Uso is here for his Intercontinental Championship. 
This crowd coming unglued, watching Jey Uso soar through the skies of St. Louis. Dominic Mysterio may be in trouble. Spear by Jey. New champion on the horizon, not just yet. Jey Uso diving to the outside of the ring, follows it up with a spear. Not to be was a result. Inside cradle by Dom. Jey Uso getting the shoulder up. Dominic Mysterio had to expect this kind of fight at a main event, Jey Uso, tonight. So much history between these two teams, so much history between the four man units that will fight at SummerSlam. Jey Uso missing out on over two months of his career thanks to the actions of Dirty Dominic Mysterio specifically. Tonight, certainly a chance to set the precedent for SummerSlam, but it may not go the way of the bloodline. Here comes Dom, 619. And follows it up with a halo. And that's gonna do it to retain the championship against Jey Uso, not just yet. Dominic Mysterio with a hell of a one-two punch. Great combination whether you like the young man or not. Dominic, all the talents of the world, but has unfortunately fell into the trap of the Judgment Day and leaning on their underhanded tactics time and time again. Meanwhile, Jey Uso thrown out to enemy territory, and I'm sure the area was not on purpose. Or was on purpose, I should say. This is exactly what we expected. Finn Balor sending Jey Uso back inside the ring. Jey Uso meant it allowed it to happen just so we could lie and wait for that misstep by Dom. And on the shoulders goes the Intercontinental Champion. A lot of fight has been taken out of these two superstars and they have hit some signature maneuvers over the last couple of minutes. Back and forth off the reversal. Another DDT of the defending Intercontinental Champion. As we mentioned a few moments ago, a chance to set the precedent for SummerSlam. Four on four matchup this Saturday night. Dominic Mysterio and Jey Uso with a chance to bring the momentum to their respective team. Off the Tornado DDT main event, Jey Uso is still alive here in the Enterprise Center. Muscling down Dominic Mysterio to steal the gold. No. Jey Uso hanging in there. Another inside cradle by Dirty Dom. You can't say this young man has not continued to grow and grow. It was a veteran instinct that time to catch Jey Uso off guard. Unfortunately, he did not get the three count. Now Jey once again set over the top rope. Dirty Dominic Mysterio may be trying to recalibrate a new game plan here. And, oh, wait a minute. Well, Jimmy Uso's up on the apron. I think it's all fair in love and war. How many times have we seen the Judgment Day play aid to one of their fellow brothers? Throw a distraction out there, especially for Dirty Dom. Well, Jimmy Uso taking the Intercontinental Champion's eye off the ball momentarily. There's going to be some fingerprints on this matchup regardless of the result, whether it's Jay or Dom leaving as Intercontinental Champion. Had to expect nothing less after the rivalry that we have seen over the last couple of months on Monday Night Raw. Jay Uso, massive right hand. But can he follow it up? Another reversal by Dom. Back and forth champion and challenger go. High profile matchup just five nights before SummerSlam. Neither one of these superstars looking to head back to their respective locker rooms with their head hanging low. And it looked like Jey Uso had an opportunity to rally the troops that time, but you gotta give credit as much as you may hate to do so to Dominic Mysterio. As we mentioned a few moments ago, he just continues to grow, continues to get better. Now Dom on the top, goes for the frog splash. Jey Uso getting the hell out of Dodge. And now it's Jey going to the top. Could be looking for an Uso splash. Dom getting to his feet. Jey Uso connects with an elbow nonetheless. Back and forth as we mentioned. Jockin' for position in this Intercontinental Championship opening contest here on Monday Night Raw. Jey Uso scooping a slam. Jey has not forgotten about the parking lot assault a couple of months ago. Has not forgotten about the actions of last week when the Judgment Day were beating up the bloodline all over the arena. Oh wait a minute, now again Finn Balor taking Jey's eye off the ball. Jey almost got caught up in the act. 
Dominic Mysterio again at the inside cradle, trying to do all he can to take Jey Uso off his game, but I don't think that blueprint is going to work out. Dare I say, Dominic Mysterio may be starting to get a little desperate. Finn Balor has aided distraction a couple of times in this matchup, but Dom really hasn't been able to take advantage like he did against Sami Zayn last month. And again, Finn Balor sending Jay into the ring. Dom's on top. Mysterio hits the frog splash to retain the Intercontinental title. Not just yet. Main event Jay Uso will not be denied. The same frog splash that won Dom the title last month in London. Unfortunately for him, the maneuver that does not see result, at least just yet, here tonight on Raw. Jey Uso still in this Intercontinental Championship matchup. Dominic Mysterio is going to be racking his brain. Thought he had what it takes to keep down Jey in that moment. Well, I am sure the bloodline... Jimmy Uso watching at ringside, Solo Sokoa, Roman Reigns watching somewhere in the backstage area. I am sure they are loving the fight that Jey Uso is giving this matchup, hoping he's got what it takes to pull through on the other side. There's a reversal, Dom into the ropes, catches the super kick, Insiguri by Jey. Hustle it up, in search of a three. Dominic Mysterio still with some life left in him. This is a great Intercontinental Championship matchup to kick things off tonight. Really kicking off SummerSlam week here in the WWE. Five nights before the biggest party of the summer. Damn near the most anticipated SummerSlam of all time. Jey Uso finding a way in this matchup. At least he was momentarily. Dominic Mysterio sidestepping Jey's attempt for a baseball slide. Now Jey set into the corner. And hard delivery at that. Now it's Jay with the dodge. Into the ropes goes the champion. Going for a scoop and a slam. Another reversal that time. Dominic Mysterio with a drop kick. Back and forth. Maybe the motive of the matchup. Finn Balor and Jimmy Uso have certainly put their fingerprints on this Intercontinental Championship contest. Who is going to come out on the other side? Dom on top, looking for a superplex to Jay. Dead center of the ring. Dom's not done. Dom looking for the second. 6 1 9 of the matchup. Jay may be out cold. Dom heading to the top. And now a second delivery on that frog splash. You almost hate to see it, but we have to accept it. Dirty Dom retains the title. Well, you want to say that Finn Balor had his hands on this matchup, and he absolutely did. But all is fair in love and war, and Jimmy Uso tried to extend a hand to Jay as well. Here is your winner. Here is still the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Dom is still your Intercontinental Champion, but I have a feeling the war of this week is only beginning between these two units. Well, the bloodline is going to be a busy team come SummerSlam. Dom, Balor, and Priest with their own agenda. But what about the nightmare? The Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. She defends her WWE Women's Championship against a woman who has been red hot here on Monday Night Raw. The EST, Bianca Belair. These two lock horns live this Saturday. For the last year, one name has struck fear into the hearts of all women here in the WWE. The Nightmare, Rhea Ripley, has etched her name in stone as the best of the best. But you can't spell best without the E-S-T. Bianca Belair has never been more hungry for championship gold. You look at the history of the challenger. 
The last time she found herself on top was SummerSlam two years ago. And ever since that night, whether it been on SmackDown or right here on Raw, Belair has tried again and again to obtain the gold. And once again, she has a chance to achieve that goal at SummerSlam in Detroit. Months ago, Rhea Ripley attempted to use Bianca as a stepping stone, a message sender to the rest of the women's division. That was an attack that Belair did not forget. Rhea went on to once again capture the women's championship back at Vengeance in May, but one EST was waiting in the winds. Rhea, realizing she may have met her match, screwed Belair out of the title matchup in her hometown months ago. Bianca found herself one of two challengers for the gold at King of the Ring in June, and once again, Mommy was on top. For months on end, Bianca Belair has scratched and clawed her way to top contendership. Rhea Ripley has beaten names a mile long, but can she pin Belair's shoulders to the mat in a one-on-one -on -one matchup? That is the question at hand as the EST, Bianca Belair, stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley, with the WWE Women's Championship on the line. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code. Follow on TikTok and don't miss a second of Velocity. We are back live in the Enterprise Center here at St. Louis on Monday Night Raw. And after an amazing showing against the Usos this past Saturday night at WWE Live, Brutus and Julius Creed set for action. Unfortunately, their opponents going to be a tall task. It is the in-ring return of former NXT Tag Team Champions, accompanied by the mastermind in Paul Ellering, as well as the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. Akum, Razor, the authors of pain. We take you back to two weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw. Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin set for a tag team matchup that never was to be. Karrion and Cross accepted their challenge with this game plan in mind. He stuck Akam and Razor on Corbin and Breaker on that night, shocking the world and seemingly aligning himself with this once dangerous trio that stormed over NXT time and time again. Akam and Razor back here on Monday Night Raw with a man who helped make them famous in Paul Ellering. And now add Karrion Cross to that equation. And we may be looking at a completely different landscape for Monday Night Raw's future. I'll tell you what, Brutus and Julius Creed, they put up one hell of a fight against Jay and Jimmy Uso this past Saturday night at WWE Live for channel members only. Awarded an opportunity to participate here on Monday Night Raw once again. But they certainly may have drawn a short straw going 2v2 against that dangerous duo of Akam and Razor. Well, as this matchup kicks off, I want to remind you that Velocity goes down each and every Wednesday over on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. This week, Machine Gun Carl Anderson up against Big Brunson Reed, a one-on-one -on -one match stemming out of the eight-man tag from last week on Monday Night Raw. Go ahead and scan that QR code and go ahead and follow No Nation Gaming over on TikTok. That way you never miss out on the action each and every Wednesday on Velocity. But nonetheless, we are underway. That is Razor that is kicking things off against Julius Creed. And as you can see, already destruction being shown in the early moments of this tag team matchup. 
Well, certainly a couple of teams emerging over the last few weeks on Monday Night Raw, whether they've been here before, or they've returned to the in-ring action, such as Aikman and Razor, the tag team division, red hot. And I'm sure the World Tag Team Champions Damian Priest and Finn Balor are not very happy about it. Of course, the Uso is going to be on the tail, the Judgment Day, and that whole situation going down this Saturday at SummerSlam. The Creed brothers, who have been here on Monday Night Raw, but haven't seen too much action. Looking for that breakthrough victory and that breakthrough performance that's going to take them to the next level. Now add the authors of pain to the mix. The Judgment Day and the World Tag Team Champions may have a massive target more than ever on their back. And you can't take your eye off the ball when you're in there with the AOP. These two men, former NXT Tag Team Champions, 2016 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners, former Raw Tag Team Champions as well, the AOP. Steamrolled over competition for several years here in the WWE, and now they are back to do so again. And what has Karrion Cross got in mind, bringing these two superstars back to Monday Night Raw and sticking them on Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker, two men who have had their individual issues with Karrion Cross and really brought together with a common goal of taking down the Harbinger of Doom. Karrion Cross outweighing the numbers of Corbin and the Mr. Money of the Bank holder, Braun Breaker, a few weeks ago. I'm sure those two men have got a keen eye on what the AOP are up to tonight. And although Brutus Creed showcasing some literal brute strength against Razor that time, Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin cannot be happy about the destruction these two men are bringing to the Monday Night Raw ring. Nonetheless, Brutus Creed not backing down from the challenge. Brutus and Julius pushing the Usos damn near to their limit 48 hours ago. Looking to do so to the AOP here on Monday Night Raw. Obviously easier said than done, but the accolades we said about Aikman and Razor, we can also say about Brutus and Julius. Final time the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic was held in NXT. The victors were the Creed Brothers. They're also former NXT Tag Team Champions. They have been to that mountain before, to the top. Can one of these two teams reach the pinnacle here on Monday Night Raw all over again? I'll tell you what, right now it looks like Razor and the Authors of Pain a little bit closer to doing so. Wait, what the hell? Wait a minute, it's Dijak and the Megastar LA Knight out in the parking garage. What the hell is going on? These two men got a Detroit street fight this Saturday night because of actions eerily similar to what we are seeing right now. Back in the month of May when Dijak sidelined LA Knight with an attack in the parking garage. And it looks like after LA Knight got the one up over Dijak in that eight man tag team matchup last week on Raw, Dijak looking to steal the momentum back before SummerSlam right into the windshield of that car goes the megastar. We need to get some help out there in the parking garage as Dijak has once again left LA Knight Lane. An absolutely ridiculous situation develops as those two men meet in that Detroit street fight this Saturday at SummerSlam, but clearly after what we just saw, LA Knight is not going to be anywhere near 100%. Well, nonetheless, we got to try to refocus as tag team action is still on hand inside the Enterprise Center on Raw. Aikum, the current legal superstar for the AOP, Julius in for the Creed Brothers. These two men fighting in enemy territory for the AOP, reversal after reversal. Aikum just tackling Julius Creed down to the canvas. And now starting to unload. And this unforgiving pain that the AOP brings to the ring is what has made them so successful in the past. And I am sure that is what Karrion Cross sees in these two men and certainly what drew him to the AOP. Oh no, tag made to Razor and they're about to write Julius Creed's final chapter here on Monday Night Raw. Into the cover. Academic from that point, the AOP victorious in their Monday Night Raw return. Well, the Creed brothers putting up 
two great showings in a span of 48 hours. But when you're standing across from the authors of pain, victory feels like a fever dream. Brutus and Julius will live to fight another day, but what the hell has Karrion Cross unleashed on Monday Night Raw? The mastermind of Paul Ellering at ringside, Cross looming in the distance, Aikam and Razor steamrolling to victory here in St. Louis. Here are your winners. The authors of Pain on top here tonight, but you gotta imagine. Wait a minute, Baron Corbin, Mr. Money in the Bank, Broad Breaker, out here to get their pound of flesh. A little bit of a role reversal after the AOP ambushed them from behind two weeks ago here on Raw. Corbin and Breaker are not done with carrying Cross, and they're only getting started with the authors of pain. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noination Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. It is certainly a great time to become a Nomination Gaming channel member, and if you're not, you certainly missed out on one hell of an event this past Saturday. LA Knight one-on-one -on -one with CM Punk in the headline for the WWE Championship after LA Knight was victorious at the top of the show in an eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal. LA Knight putting up one hell of a fight against the Second City Saint and was within inches of changing the landscape of not only Monday Night Raw, but also SummerSlam this coming Saturday night. Well, unfortunately for LA, Victory was not to be in Springfield, Missouri this past Saturday as CM Punk overcoming the megastar and retaining his WWE Championship. CM Punk continuing to be on top of Monday Night Raw as he approaches a rematch with Kevin Owens where that gold will be on the line this Saturday in Detroit. That epic main event wasn't the only action that went down at WWE Live. A little bit of a grudge match between Chelsea Green and the man Becky Lynch going down inside the squared circle. As you see, Chelsea Green taking her eye off the ball, and in a split second, the man Becky Lynch catching her in the disarmor. Becky on top, going 2-0 over the last month and change against Chelsea Green. Which really leads us to our tag team matchup up next here on Monday Night Raw. Chelsea Green, Sonya Deville, Piper Niven, that is a trio that has gone up against some of the best that Raw has to offer in recent months, and win, lose, or draw has made their presence felt. All three of them women have had their issues with Bailey and the man, Becky Lynch. Tonight, they look to settle the score in 2v2 action. First at the Great American Bash, then at WWE Live, Chelsea Green has tapped out twice to the Disarmor, and I'm sure Becky Lynch would like to make it happen for a third time here tonight on Raw. The replay of WWE Live available now for No Nation Gaming channel members. And don't miss out on the next No Nation Gaming channel member exclusive WWE Live event going down on Saturday night, September the 7th. It is going to be one hell of a night of action. Hit the join button down below. Hit the link up in the cards. Join today and punch your golden ticket to that extraordinary event. But here we are in the final one tonight, Raw, before SummerSlam. And the women's division has certainly been heating up over the last few months. Women's Tag Team Champions crowned a few weeks ago at Saturday night's main event. They're going to be on the line this Friday on SmackDown as Raw's Katana Chance and Kaden Carter meet SmackDown's Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Of course, the Queen of the Ring tournament approaching. It's set to kick off in just a couple of weeks. 
But we are here live on Monday Night Raw, and all four of these women are looking to settle a score that is truly months in the making if you've done your history. Well, it has already been a great night of action here on Raw and still to come in your main event, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest set to go one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Owens. A situation that has developed really underneath of the situations between the Judgment Day and the Bloodline and Kevin Owens and CM Punk. There is some bad blood between Owens, Zayn, and the Judgment Day that has progressed throughout the summer as well. Owens looking to settle that score in your main event with Damian Priest later tonight. But settling scores on the road to SummerSlam seems to be the theme of the evening as Bailey and Becky Lynch coming together with one common goal, and that's getting even once and for all with Chelsea Green, Sonya Deville, and of course the woman at ringside, Piper Niven. We saw last week Piper Niven one-on-one -on -one with the number one contenders of the WWE Women's Championship and Bianca Belair. Really a back-and-forth contest all the way through with the arrival. The return of the man, Becky Lynch, taking Piper's eye off the ball just for a split second. Give a little assist to Bianca Blair with victory seven nights ago. Really, this goes all the way back to the Great American Bash in the first half of July. Becky Lynch returning for the first time since the month of February, defeating Chelsea Green in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Moments after Piper Niven laying out the man here on Monday Night Raw. A couple of weeks later in London, England, Becky Lynch victorious over Piper. Celebration twas not to be, however, as Piper Niven laid out the man moments after the bell. Bailey stepping up a week later, trying to get even on behalf of Becky Lynch, a good friend of hers, with Piper Niven. And thanks to the numbers game of Chelsea and Sonya, Piper Niven picking up a huge victory over Bailey. And of course, as we mentioned, Becky Lynch assisting Bianca Belair with that win last week on Raw. Becky going two for two against Chelsea Green this past Saturday. But now Becky and Bailey unite tonight to try to take down this common enemy. Tag made to Bailey. Sonya going off the top with the double whammy. Belly to backbreaker into the cover. Sonya Deville kicking out a hell of a maneuver by Bailey and Becky Lynch. These two women know each other extremely well. Two of the four original four horse women in NXT and here in the WWE. And now linking up here on Raw, thanks to these common enemies in Sonya, Chelsea, and Piper. All three of those women have really been establishing themselves one way or another here on Monday Night Raw over the last few months. And a victory over Bailey for Piper Niven really turned a lot of heads. As for Becky Lynch, one thing that really plagued her throughout 2023 was some major losses in her attempt to win the WWE Women's Championship. She's seen nothing but victory. In terms of singles matches, so far since her return at the Great American Bash, I'm sure Becky is looking to punch her ticket, coming one step closer to maybe challenging for that gold in the near future. As for Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville, a few weeks ago at Saturday night's main event, falling short to Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark in the Women's Tag Team Championship matchup. Of course, those teams universal between all brands, hence the reason Katana Chance and Kaden Carter as they're taking down Alba Fire and Isla Dawn last week on Velocity, have earned themselves an opportunity at those two SmackDown stars this Friday night. We look at the team of Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville, two women who have been making an impact, as we mentioned, regardless of the result over the last few months on Raw. You gotta believe Green and Deville are looking for their championship opportunity. I'm sure Chelsea Green is out for a little bit of payback tonight against Becky Lynch, who is tapped out Chelsea Green, and I'm sure Green feels embarrassed her, not only once, but twice. Both those times coming in just a few minutes in the early parts of the matchup. Chelsea Green's got nothing to, I should say nobody to blame but herself. She took her own eye off the ball this past Saturday. But you can't say she doesn't have the talent to get it done. Knocking Bailey off the apron. And a cross body over the top, taking down the man. Green can be gritty inside of that ring, and we are seeing that before our very eyes here on Monday Night Raw. Trying to divide and conquer as Bailey was sent off the apron momentarily, and really regardless of that fact, you gotta 
Keep your eyes on the X Factor at ringside. And that's Scottish. Piper Niven. Call her a destroyer. You can call her a warrior. You can call her a fighter. You can call her tough, pissed off. All those words will describe the woman who is looming at ringside. Chelsea Green once again taking Bailey off the apron, but it allows the man Becky Lynch to take back control. Oh, well, wait a minute. Chelsea taking down to the canvas. Becky Lynch going for the three P. The hat trick. Disarmor locked in on Green. Chelsea doing all she can to get the hell out of Dodge. Within inches was the man of once again tapping out Green. Alex for the pinfall. Middle of the ring instead, and she almost got her. Becky Lynch damn near catching Chelsea Green off guard again. How embarrassing would that would have been for that trio that opposes Becky and Bailey here tonight. Chelsea now turning the tables. Pinfall of her own. A decision not to be. We talked about a few moments ago how the women's divisions, not only on Raw, but even on Friday Night SmackDown, really heating up over the last few months. So much opportunity has been at play. And of course, the WWE Women's title, courtesy of Monday Night Raw, going to be on the line live this Saturday night at SummerSlam. The eradicator Rhea Ripley, who has been the centerfold of the Monday Night Raw Women's division for the past year here on the Red Brand, defends her title against the EST, Bianca Belair. Meanwhile, Chelsea Green taking advantage of an exposed turnbuckle, the dirty work of one Piper Niven, who has proven to play, as we called her, the X Factor. Just like that, Chelsea Green has taken not only momentum in this matchup, but firm control, and is trying to take away the arm and take away maybe a submission hold game out of the man's arsenal. And again, set into the corner. Becky Lynch is looking worse for wear. I don't care how tough you are, what you've done, where you've been, what you've accomplished. Coming in contact with the steel and Chelsea beating the hell out of the neck and shoulder reason of Becky Lynch. That's going to incapacitate anybody. Becky's got to be feeling the brunt. And once again, Becky's set into the corner. Chelsea leaning on the underhanded tactics as much as she possibly can. Guess we are seeing tonight that embarrassment will drive anybody to go to any depths to get victory. Meanwhile, Sonya Deville tagged in and she's heading to the top rope. Becky Lynch neck and shoulders have got to be killing her right now. Sonya Deville going to rub salt in the wounds off the axe hammer. And a shot for Bailey as well. Well, you may not like the trio, but Chelsea, Sonya, and Piper, who is not legally a part of this matchup, but here nonetheless, they have done their homework on how to divide and conquer, and they are proven to be a difference maker in this matchup. Becky Lynch trying to rally, trying to call off the top. Sonya pulling the rug out from underneath of her. Becky Lynch trying to fight, but I don't know how much is left in the tank. Came in contact with that exposed steel on multiple occasions, and Chelsea Green was just wailing away on the neck area. And so is Sonya Deville the last few minutes. Becky Lynch with any ounce of energy that's left, getting the shoulder off the canvas, but not the most enthusiastic kick out we've ever seen. Oh! Sonya with that MMA background, starting to incapacitate the man. And a knee for her troubles. Becky Lynch in the worst possible spot that we may have seen her since her role return last month. That's even talking about the post-match attack by Piper Niven last month in London. Becky Lynch trying to fight, but I don't know how much is left. Sonya Deville taking her down. Triangle choke locked in. Becky, with all that attack on the shoulders and neck, has got no choice but to tap out. Not a situation the man usually finds herself in, but was in need of saving her own career and living to fight another day. Chelsea and Sonya, like him or not, had a game plan, executed it to perfection here on Raw. Here are your winners, the team of Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. 
Becky and Bailey, I am sure, are far from done. They will live to fight another day. This is a huge win for Chelsea and Sonya. And you gotta believe they are eyeing up an opportunity at those tag team titles. It is the most anticipated event of the summer, and it is going down live this Saturday night in Ford Field in Detroit, the 2024 installment of SummerSlam. God only knows the condition of the megastar LA Knight after what we saw earlier this evening. Head first through a car window and then slams right into a windshield by Dijak. This story continues to get more violent. Anything goes in the street fight on Saturday. The Women's World Championship from Friday Night SmackDown is on the line. The prodigy Roxanne Perez has stated time and time again, she did not head to the blue brand to make friends. She came for gold. She gets to go around with Raquel Rodriguez this Saturday. Ilya Dragunov has scored not one, but two victories over Drew McIntyre in recent months. Victories that have not sat in well with the Scottish Warrior. Drew McIntyre is out for revenge and out to slay the Mad Dragon once and for all. The EST Bianca Belair has been on a two year journey to get back to this moment, to challenge for the WWE Women's Championship at the same event she last held it. Bianca, one on one with the dominating Nightmare Rhea Ripley at SummerSlam. It is the in ring return of the great one, The Rock. From guest host to in-ring action, the Viper Randy Orton picked his spot. He laid out the rock of the Great American Bash. The most electrifying superstar has come back haunting the Apex Predator. It is the Friday Night SmackDown main event. The 2024 King of the Ring winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, contest against the Ring General, Guther for the World Heavyweight Championship. A story 12 months in the making culminates this Saturday night. The Monday Night Raw main event sees the WWE Championship return match from Money in the Bank. The prize fighter, Kevin Owens, has had a banner year in 2024, but it all came crashing down at the hands of the Second City Saint CM Punk. They reignite that flame this Saturday in Detroit. And if you want to see a war, look no further than the eight-man tag team matchup. The Bloodline, Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso, Solo Sokoa, Roman Reigns, 4v4 against Seth Rollins and the Judgment Day. This story has taken over Raw all summer long. Perhaps the most emotionally charged bout at SummerSlam comes in form of a four-on-four -four battle. The Bloodline stands in arms as they face off with the Judgment Day, as well as Seth freaking Rollins. This rivalry has only intensified throughout 2024. The Usos returning to Monday Night Raw back in January crushing their goal of winning the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and winning the World Tag Team Championship gold against the Judgment Day at WrestleMania. Victories for Jay and Jimmy that did not sit well with Damian Priest and Finn Balor. 
The goal for the Judgment Day became that much more clear. Eliminate the Usos and continue their takeover of Monday Night Raw. A Tornado Tag Team Rules match at Vengeance in May proved to benefit Priest and Balor as Dirty Dominic Mysterio assisted them in winning back their gold. A costly moment on that night only added fuel to the fire of this ever-growing war. Jimmy Uso was sidelined with injury during the battle. Jey Uso, out for his revenge, found himself the casualty of a parking lot assault. When it seemed as if the Judgment Day had rid themselves of their Uso problem, Solo Sokoa emerged on the scene to defend the honor of his battered and bruised brothers. Solo became another footnote and the destruction caused at the hands of Balor, Dom, and Priest. The Judgment Day looked to move forward, but one tribal chief, Roman Reigns, was not going to sit idly by and watch his family be destroyed. Just as Reigns was set to return to Raw and outweigh the numbers of the Judgment Day, they called upon an insurance policy. Seth freaking Rollins, a man who has done business with the boys in black and purple before, and someone who knows Roman Reigns better than anyone, spoiling his Monday Night Raw return with a vicious curb stomp. Business was taken care of, at least for a few moments. The Bloodline rallied the troops and planned their payback accordingly. Now, the Bloodline are back on Monday Night Raw and looking to finally put an end to the chaos their enemies have caused. At SummerSlam, the lines in the sand will be drawn. The turf war for supremacy begins. Only one unit will stand tall. Damian Priest, Finn Balor, Dominic Mysterio, and Seth freaking Rollins on one side. Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso, Solo Sokoa, and the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns on the other. Let the battle of the summer begin. Are you ready to go to war in the eight-man tag team matchup where there'll be no countouts, no disqualification, and pinfall or submission must take place in the middle of the ring for there to be a winner. It goes down live this Saturday at SummerSlam. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, one half of the world tag team champion, Damien Priest. Well, we saw the Intercontinental Champion Dominic Mysterio and the other half of the world tag team champions in Finn Balor out here earlier tonight taking care of Jay and Jimmy one way or another. So far this evening, momentum is on the side of the Judgment Day. And after what we saw last week, Seth Rollins victorious over Solo Sokoa, the Judgment Day beating down the bloodline all over the arena. The men in the black and purple have to be feeling confident ahead of Detroit. But this man has got another agenda. Payback tonight, and then get his WWE title around his waist once again this Saturday. And his opponent from Merrillville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin You know, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn may be best friends, but they are more than capable of fighting their own battles. But Kevin Owens approaching his matchup with CM Punk at SummerSlam was not going to sit idly by while the Judgment Day screwed over Sami Zayn back in London last month and then made matters worse with Damian Priest's victory over Zayn a few weeks ago. Owens stepping up to the plate saying, you know what? I got time to kill before the biggest party of the summer, and I want to get my hands on some men I got history with as well. And that brings us to tonight's main event here in St. Louis. 
The bell has sounded. We are underway. Both men with their own agendas, but both men looking for victory at the same time as Damian Priest and Kevin Owens locked horns here on Monday Night Raw. The Priest already victorious over Sami Zayn a few weeks ago. Imagine if he can go two for two against the best friends. And the number one contender for the WWE Championship, Kevin Owens. You know, we have talked a lot tonight about the bloodline and Judgment Day and Seth Rollins and that turf war, that battle for supremacy that goes down at SummerSlam. But we have spent a lot of time over the last few weeks discussing the WWE Championship rematch between Kevin Owens and CM Punk. Both men have talked about respect and how there is a lack of respect between the two men. CM Punk says he never meant, never meant to make things personal with Kevin Owens. He just wanted the opportunity at the WWE title. Regardless of how he got there, Kevin Owens takes the WWE Championship extremely personally. But as we have said in recent weeks, they can talk all they want on social media, back and forth, and in website interviews, but it all comes down to what happens between the bells. CM Punk was the better man back in London at Money in the Bank, but will he be able to repeat history at SummerSlam in the defense of his title? Right now, it is Kevin Owens trying to shake off the cobwebs as the Archer of Infamy just shot a bullseye with that arrow. The number one contender sent back inside the ring and talk about a confidence boost for the Judgment Day. If Priest can take down a man who held the WWE Championship from the main event of WrestleMania to just last month at Money in the Bank here tonight on Raw. Kevin Owens does not want to see that result, does not want to see his first time competing inside of the ring since Money in the Bank come to a screeching halt by hands of the Judgment Day. You know, these two men with their own situations that have been really an underlining story throughout the summer as well. All the issues between Sami Zayn and Damian Priest. At one point, the Judgment Day had rid themselves of the bloodline and was targeting Kevin Owens in the WWE title. CM Punk was even caught up in those crosshairs at one time. I'm sure Owens has not forgotten about that. All the more reason to get his hands on any member of the Judgment Day, but specifically Damian Priest here tonight on Raw as Priest goes for a ride off the reverse fireman's carry position. Tell you what, as we mentioned a few minutes ago, Kevin Owens has had a banner year in 2024. Winning the Royal Rumble matchup, the main event of WrestleMania, an extraordinary reign as the WWE Champion. One hump in the road may be easily forgotten about if he can win back the title at SummerSlam. All remains to be seen if he's got what it takes to beat the man who claims to be the best in the world, but maneuvers like that are certainly gonna aid him in his pursuit. Swanton off the top, but it almost got on the victory, but Damian Priest still alive. The Archer of Infamy almost put away, but now Kevin Owens looking for the nail in the coffin. Could be looking for the stunner, not to be. Damian Priest denies Kevin Owens the satisfaction of that extraordinary maneuver. One half of the World Tag Team Champions has proven to be dominant on his own in recent weeks. Oh, wait a minute, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns at ringside. Roman Reigns trying to take Damian Priest's eye off the ball, and he did exactly that. Well, what did we say earlier tonight? All is fair in love and war. The Judgment Day have always had the numbers game, but the bloodline meeting them in the middle at any chance they get. Roman Reigns momentarily distracting one half of the World Tag Team Champions. And it has allowed the number one contender, Kevin Owens, to take control of this matchup just as Damian Priest was starting to turn the tables. Owens, as we mentioned, not looking to see an unfortunate loss days before he attempts to win back the gold. Damian Priest trying to do his damnedest to shake off the cobwebs. Things have been going well for the Judgment Day tonight. Damian Priest does not want to be the one who kills their momentum. Back inside the ring, but he gets caught with a stunner by the number one contender. Victory for the prize fighter on Raw. Here is your winner, Kevin Rowe. And here 
comes the WWE Champion, CM Punk. One of the best matches of 2024, and we get to see the sequel live this Saturday night, 5 p.m. Eastern Time in Ford Field, the biggest party of the summer. We will see you at SummerSlam! If you're feeling lost, sing this song with me. It will shine a light. I hope that you can say, Sing away, carry me. Sing You'll see.